So a lot of people are saying how with Katie Hill resigning that Ilan Omar should be resigning as well, which is just a bad call, mainly because Omar don't got nudes out there. I <laughs> that's the main that's the main difference between what happened with Katie and what's happening with um Ilan Omar because they're both uh in, entangled with staffers or you know people that they hired for their campaigns either ways yeah omar uh, is, she voted away against inez cancer against turkey and yeah he's calling her out for it this is coming to us from the new york post celtics inez cantor calls out ilan omar over turkey sanctions vote this is written by yaren steinbuck and those are the two right there. Yay. Boston Celtics, even though, yeah, he was in Portland last year. And that's Cantor is just bouncing around the league right now. Boston Celtics center. And that's, you know what? Speaking of Boston Celtics, uh, they got this guy named Taco Fall, who I'm pretty sure they may have sent him down to the G League. But I look forward to this guy entering the actual NBA because he just towers, man. <laughs> he just i don't know how he's not in the league like starting right now but let's get into this boston celtic center and as cancer slammed freshman rep elon omar for voting against a bill to impose economic sanctions on turkey over his defense offensive against kurdish forces in northern syria cantor who is turkish tweeted tuesday night that it was an absolute disappointment and shame that the minnesota congresswoman was the only democrat to not support the protect against conflict by turkey act is that is that Pacta? It looks like Pacta. <laughs> he added that it seemed like Omar was on Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's payroll and working for his interests, but not for the American people and democracy. The House bill had rare bipartisan support and overwhelmingly passed in a vote of 403 to 16 on Tuesday, with 176 Republicans voting for it and just 15 opposing the measure, according to The Hill. You know, so it was one of those things that was going to pass like no matter what, just and as was like, yeah, well, yeah, I can I can catch a little shine kicking Omar in. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Uh, the House bill had a. Uh, Omar penned an op-ed piece for the Washington Post last week in which she called sanctions part of the failed foreign policy playbook. That's her opinion. And on Tuesday, she voted present on a bill that would recognize the slaughter of Armenians by the Ottoman Turks during World War I as a genocide. In an explanation of her vote, Omar said accountability and recognition of genocide should not be used as a cudgel in a political fight, but should instead be done based on academic consensus of, uh, outside the push and pull of geopolitics. But the I'm pretty sure the consensus is that it took place. I mean, the Armenian genocide is something that you know I've been heard about. So, like, I'm pretty sure the consensus is that, like, yeah, millions of people were murdered. The House passed the bill with overwhelming support, 405 in favor, compared to 11 in opposition. Cantor, who has vocally clashed with our Ankara in the past, had his passport revoked in Romania in 2017 and claimed later that his father had been arrested by Turkish authorities, according to The Hill. In January, he didn't travel with the New York Knicks, his team at the time, to London because of death threats. Yeah, so, um, and as Cantor, I actually like watching him play. He's very athletic, and I, he's been bouncing like literally all over the league. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was more like because the because it, it it went through regardless. It went the way that you wanted it to go regardless. You just kind of was like, oh yeah, yeah, like Omar, what are you doing, huh? This book, there's nonsense. And Omar, being who Omar is, I'm not from Minnesota. I didn't vote for, her, so I can't explain the uh the the base that she has but yeah this is just uh this is just going against the grain simply to go against the grain and you know it is what it is so uh with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end because it, like it's just weird like dude you got what you wanted like it's uh, it's okay like i'm not trying to defend omar but at the same time like dude you got what you wanted relax um all the internet stuff if you liked it toss a like dislike go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube doesn't like me that much bit shoot doesn't know me that well is that better and speak let me know what do you think in the comments um 
you know, like, like of, of course, the Armenian genocide took place. This has been, you know, written down in academia for a while, as well as she's, I find Omar interesting, as in she goes against the grain oh so often and says people did some things and I, I'd be interested to have a conversation with Omar and find out exactly like, what do you mean by, you know, like, 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 uh, you, uh, so once again, and I've said this in other videos where I've covered it, like, yo, you just really don't like our country. <laughs> like it doesn't feel like you particularly care and it has nothing to do with her faith or where she's from. It's her actions that really draw, draw my ire. Like, Hey, what's going on here? You know? Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments though. And until the next one.